Hey people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As usual, today we will observe one new, actually this is a recently new UKIT service. Actually, this service will help you to create a cool landing page, blog, or just even a website. So watch it till the end, I assure you, it will be very interesting and I really do hope that my videos are um, useful for you. As usual, I'm waiting for your comments, for your likes, and all the useful information will be in the link in the description. So uh, let's get down to our work. Um, actually, UKIT, what is for? Uh, so UKIT is a contemporary, convenient, a simple website builder, which uh, initially targets small and mid-sized businesses owners. So its feature set is powerful enough to come up to the needs of each other um, who has uh, an intention to start and effectively manage professional projects. What matters most is that the website builder does not require any coding and I would say web design skills to run quality projects. So everyone can master its intuitive visual interface to be able to design projects out of uh, ready-made widgets and content blocks. So the website builder comes with an extensive collection of responsive, fully customizable designs tailor-made for specific commercial and non-commercial needs. So due to the integrated drag-and-drop functionality, because um, the editor is drag-and-drop, uh, this is drag-and-drop editor, yeah, it's possible to start projects of any complexity uh, level without any coding proficiency at all. So these are only some of the most obvious reasons that why I decided to make this uh, video. It's not a tutorial video, maybe it's observing video, but that's why I decided to show you all that uh, we have a new uh, website builder service with ease of use and it's very interesting to work with this service. Um, it has many uh, cool templates and uh, you may search these templates, look them just right here, how they look like, yep, or you have the categories. Um, if you have, for example, a company or a beauty salon or I would say a restaurant, gym, whatever. So here you may search uh, in the categories, yep, what do you need uh, to look for. Or we just need to take a look right here, yep, shiny toys. So let's start from the bottom of preview. Actually, here we have uh, the variants uh, of the adaptive designs. So we have a bright, cool. Uh, this is a landing page, and it's very interesting. That's not a website. Yeah, we have many blocks, uh, sections. I would say, yeah. Actually, it, it is in uh, pink color, but we have just like this one, purple one, and like orange. I like pink. Okay, uh, the next one. This is the adaptive version for the tablet. As you, know, you can check it. Yep. Uh, so, in vertical way for smartphone devices. And, um, okay, just right here. So I guess that we will start a design. Uh, in case if you don't like this design, uh, the template, you need to uh, search the other one. Just view, uh, click the button view next. But I will choose this design. And actually, I adore preview button because preview button lets you see all your changes in uh, action immediately, and you can preview in, uh, in different versions, such as desktop, tablet, and mobile phone. So actually, it gives you the realistic impressions of what your site will look like across different devices yeah and I will click directly to this bottom of course we need to put a domain name but uh, as usual I do it actually as the uh, last step so we will continue and we will work actually with the builder with the editor and I will show you actually what is consists of so here actually all the magic begins because here we have many full tools and first of all we have right here uh, many blocks or sections uh, so what uh, I would love to start from actually uh, some basic moments what do you need to know about uh, websites and landing pages first of all in each landing page there should be some basic elements uh, these elements are first of all a heading but we have okay this is a heading and we have a bottom this is a CDE bottom, so in the first uh, 
in face vlog, it co I call it uh, face vlog, or in the main vlog, yeah, there should be a bottom and should be a hinner. Uh, if you would like to put a menu, so before uh, the main vlog, there should be a menu with a logo, of course, or with the name of your company. But it depends on if you would like to do this, you do this. If you don't like it, you may just uh, make it this right here and this uh, t uh, template. Yep. There should be bright, beautiful, high quality, high quality images, as we see, for example, in the background. It's very important. Um, there should be some gallery uh, elements, uh, just right here. Yep. Some bottoms, uh, just like here, we have a bottom. Yep. There should be like icons, but I don't see. Oh, okay. We have icons. So basically, uh, these are icons of social network. So it's cool because if you have a page in Facebook or Instagram or even a Twitter, it's really interesting nowadays because I see the lifestyle of the company so it's important the next one uh, is the structure of course first of all uh, there should be as I told you menu um, but it's optional after should be um, the face block I would say with the city bottom which is the main block and after you need to put it in chronological way many templates uh, you can check that there are blocks about about the company about a person who gives uh, actually who provides the services yeah about um, about everything yeah if you are a blogger about your lifestyle yeah there should be some quotes some um, images some uh, some widgets some text columns yeah in um, and the structures and of course don't forget there should be a uh, media file such as videos um, it may be music or some slides don't forget to put a contact information um, and there should be some social buttons as I try to show you all so it depends on first of all before uh, observing the templates maybe you need just to uh, take a paper uh, to there to draw the blocks in chronological way how you see it and how it should be and after you will create in this service in that way how you see it and how you imagine it and uh, right here we have actually tools yeah uh, the main tools are right here yeah so first of all we have right here four tools or four bottoms so the first one is responsible for side pages so actually as we have a landing page so basically we have only one page if we have a website yeah so here we have many pages if you uh, we would like to make the other pages so basically you have this opportunity to add the bottom page and to add this one so um, um you do this bottom yeah of pages uh, tool you can complete various actions such as add new pages remove these pages yeah change the order of the pages in the menu but if uh, we are talking about the website right here we have the landing page the next one is a builder so actually we have many cool things such as text images for example i can add a gallery uh, and it works very simple because this is drag and drop editor and if you see that it's too uh, there are too many uh, images you may love three ones and to play around with all this stuff yep the next one you may add to the other image bottom slider whatever you see right here you can do this so you simply drag each element to that section to that block that you would like to basically this um this bottom of builder, uh, yeah, uh, this is bottom of drag and drop website builder, and it's used as the major website editing methods right here. So you will add it, uh, each element, you are playing around with them, yeah, by adding, removing, changing, repositioning, yeah, in a few clicks only, and results you see just uh, immediately they are displayed in the online mo mode, I would say, yeah. Uh, so here you have 
functional elements that are added to the website pages by simple drag. There are many of them here, including like cards, audio, uh, player, yep, live chat, social bars, quotes, cards, some uh, timers, HTML code. You can add simply just right here, dragging this element just to that blog that you see that it's important. Yep. And a design we have. So basically, we may change um, a design mode. First of all, this is a color scheme. Yep. And actually, it's responsible for, uh, I would say, it changes color scheme in so I'm um, actually it changes color scheme of the whole landing page not only in one section as the same as for example with um uh, with a phone so you may play around with all of, all of this okay okay this phone is better so basically, uh, it lets you change your website design by choosing the color scheme and the background of the website. So you can use a simply color palette and upload image and even a Google uh, Maps uh, as a background. So additionally, it makes sense to mention an opportunity to activate some effects, but you have the opportunity to activate some effects in case that you see that it's appropriate for your template. And don't forget that here we have a adaptive side version uh, well basically you can play around with the dash sub version it's just to look how um, actually is built the tablet how how it will you will check yeah how the visitor will see it on the tablet um, mobile devices yeah how it look like and of course you may work with each element uh, just right here with this version so it's very simple and uh, I would say that to build a perfect landing page for a website takes from 10 minutes till 2 hours, to be honest. It depends on portfolio you are. So if you have your personal portfolio or you will buy uh, some images in stock, for example. Yep. Or it depends on uh, visual content, on the structure, how you see it, how you imagine it, for what is for it. It's, uh, Actually, these are key components of, cre uh, of creation a beautiful, modern uh, landing page for a website. Of course, um, landing page, uh, they are better, they are very easy to work with them because uh, the website takes um, more time because the, here we have many pages and we need to work with each of these pages but it's not a problem it just takes uh, more time i would say for example if you don't have the opportunity just to uh, uh just to upload your pictures you don't have them at all actually you can add the other pictures from the library uh, just right here from the stock photos yep so let it be like toys and let's check what we got right here yeah so okay so maybe this one yeah okay um the next one would have loved to add toys um elements i don't know okay what if i will um actually i just added simple images and you see that these images they are from stock you need to buy them but if you don't have your personal portfolio in high quality and bright pictures that's important to have it because you need to make your visitor the visitor of your site a potential client 
So basically, that's how it can work with the UKIT service. And this is the end of observing video uh, of this service. I'm waiting for your comments. What do you think about this editor, this service? Have you ever tested it or not? And as usual, um, actually, I'm waiting for your feedback, to be, to be honest. Thank you for your attention. And I guess that we'll see each other in another woody episode. I wish you good luck, good vibes with uh, the UKIT, with my videos. Uh, bye.